OB. Obadiah. What's happening, brother, man? How you doing? So where'd this jumping skill come from to now where you can jump over the basket? As soon as I was able to dunk. Obi Toppin! I was just trying things. Obi Toppin soars and scores! So, the first thing that I recognize when I watch you play is the excitement that you have. And it's just a wonderful thing to watch. I think the joy with which you play. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, right, it's, yeah. it's real and it's, and it's, man, you're almost gonna jump out of the gym. Or right, it's yeah, like, yeah. let's ready to go. Where'd that come from? I mean, it's just the love I got for the game first, but also like being in Madison Square Garden. It's like, I mean, anywhere I am, uh, I'm gonna have joy, but it's a different type of joy playing in Madison Square Garden. So every time I hear my name called to, to get on the floor there, it's amazing. But everybody don't have that. Right, yeah. Playing in Madison Square Garden for some people could just take them down three notches because they're just right. overwhelmed. Right, yeah. But to be able to get there, I've always, I was telling somebody the other day, to be able to play there is just so inspiring. Right, yeah. Or beating you down the other way. Right, yeah. I prefer I mean, inspiring. Yeah, I feel like like the reason why I approach it different is because I grew up in the parks and the parks is different. The crowd yeah. can be all on top of you and everything on the court. So being in the garden is just kind of like the same type of pressure. Topping, taking him to the schoolyard. I feed off of it. I love that type of attention and type of pressure. So when you were growing up, did you ever dream that you'd be playing for the New York Knicks? I mean, it was always a, a dream of mine to, to play with them. Um, like my family grew up being a Knicks fan. I grew up being a Knicks fan. And so like to have the opportunity to wear that across my chest is, is a blessing. So what was it like wearing the uniform for the first time? Wearing the uniform, I remember just looking at myself. I'm like, yo, I really got a, a New York Knicks jersey on. And it was it was crazy, crazy feeling. Look out, Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin goes up and throws it down. Again. How about one more time? Tell me about your dunking, cause you you've been. When's the first, how old were you when you first dunked? My first dunk was actually before my senior year of high school. That long? Yeah, it, it's crazy. Uh, but that's why I'm dunking the way I'm dunking. I, I <laughs> love dunking up. now. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up for all the times I missed. But <laughs> but yeah, the first time I dunked was um, right before my senior year of high school, and ever since then I try to dunk everything. Well, but how tall were you? Uh, about six five, I want to say. And, you, and yeah. you you couldn't dunk. I like I was like rim grazing, but I'm talking about like a real real flush dunk. It was it was my senior year of high school. Top in, slams it down. That dunk is something that just changes. It's a, one of the most powerful instances in all sports. It's like right. a home run. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, when you hit a home yeah. run, everybody gets crazy. Well, when you dunk, it does the same thing it's, to the crowd. It's more than two points. Yes. Because it's like, it brings energy, yeah. bring, brings a lot of other things to the game that, that people don't understand. But I feel it every time I dunk. Everybody goes crazy, and I'm like, beating off of that energy. Obi Toppin taking two. So even in the game, when you have a breakaway, the excitement is, is man, what he's he going to do now? Right. I, don't, I don't even be knowing until like I'm like it depends on the steps. Like if I have certain steps the right way, I'll go between the legs, I'll windmill, or I'll just regularly flush it. But but yeah, I don't, I don't know until the last two steps that what I'm going to do. Topping with a two-handed slam. But see, now, your thing is not just only dunking. Now, the three-point right. shot is all of a sudden right, popped yeah. up somewhere. It's like, you better guard him out there. Top it for three. Oh, got it. Top it again from three. Back to back. I'm not going to be able to dunk forever. My knee's going to go someday. <laughs> so I got I to gotta bring other, other attributes to the game. Top it. Wide open. It's a three. You're a gym rat. Yeah. What is it that takes you there all the time? I mean, it's just like, I just love basketball. Like basketball helps with a lot of things. Um, I'm just always getting enough shots when I can, working on my game to get better, because there's always room for improvement. So um, to have guys like Quick in there with me every day, Quentin, Deuce, like all these guys here are gym rats too. So like having the opportunity to be around those guys like helps me a lot too. 
You know, one of the things that I remember that a coach told me one time, which I tried to take, yeah, to take it, take it to the right advice. He says you have to be happy in your work. Right. Yeah. If you're happy in your work, it ain't work. That's man. I agree with that, I, and I love this sport a lot. So. Toppin is one guy you root for, man. He has such personality. Ah! What a gregarious Knicks. You know, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing to see you here yes, playing sir. for the New York Knicks. Yes, sir. Your team when you were growing up and now being a major part of it. This is a pretty, Blessing. it's pretty nice. Can't ask for nothing else. No. Here it is. Finish this sentence for me. Obi Toppin is... Uh, an amazing person, amazing father, teammate. Uh, I feel like great person overall. Beautiful. Yes, sir. That's beautiful, man. I agree with that. I appreciate it. There we go. That was good. Yeah, that. absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. Appreciate thank you, brother. It, it was good meeting you. Great too. to meet you, yes, man. I'm a huge sure. fan.